Hello and welcome to today we're going to take a look at Pixel Shopkeeper. This one came out just a couple days ago here on Steam, developed by Pixel Prototype. Uh, in this game, we're basically a, uh, well, we're a shopkeeper, and we are going to run around, we're going to run through some dungeons, grab a bunch of loot, take it back to our shop, and sell it to the patrons of the uh, medieval slash fantasy world in which we live. And that's about uh, all there is to the game, so we'll go ahead and get in here and try it out. That's all really the setup. Oh, you need bread? The name's the bread? Uh, <laughs> bread's not bad, actually. We'll be Nook. Uh, I am a male. Uh, we're gonna go for challenge mode because I am a sim aficionado. We can change our hairstyle here if we like. We can go like the, uh, what kind of look we can do here? Oh, the crazy look. There we go. Change my hair color as well. We can go green hair. Also change my skin color. I'm, wider, or I'm a rather pasty guy, so we'll do that. And we can check our outfit here. I like this stripey one here, so give us a little style. Congratulations, Nook. You just graduated from Pixel University's General Store Keepery with Basic Hero Training Course. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. What is your dream? Exploration. What do you value most? Um, cunning's good. Choose the pet you'd prefer. Flying. So I've played around with this bit, uh, this game for a bit, and I do have, I have no idea where these come into play. Um, but, uh, maybe we'll figure it out. So I have a hundred thousand gold loan. So some guy off the street says, Congratulations, Nook, you're done with school. Your student loans add up to one hundred thousand gold. Please pay in sixteen weeks time, or you will die. I don't have any money, what should I do? Open up a shop or something. Okay. All set. You're now headed to the world map. Okay, so we're at the uh, the generic world map. We're going to head into the forest area and enter into our first dungeon. I should give a bit of a warning here. This game is a little bit uh, strange. Um, unique. We'll use the word unique. And uh, But it's one of those games that, uh, that from, from what I've been playing around here, you just can't stop playing the game because it's uh, it's one of those, like, you got to see what's going to happen next kind of thing. So we are going to wander into the forest and loot some items. So while we're in here, we're going to, you'll see my guy on the top of the screen killing things, and dropping loot. We are going to pick the loot up and stash it in our bag and try to uh, sort of Tetris style it into our bag. Remember old Diablo 2? Diablo 1, I think, was the same way as well. When you pick up all these things and you had to figure out a way of squ squeezing it into your bags properly. Yeah, we're basically doing that. All right, so we're in a dungeon. There's me with the green hair. We have a giant fried egg coming at us. We're going to kill it, and it dropped itself a hat and a helmet. We're going to toss it into our bag here. We can flip things around, Tetris style if we wish, like that. And uh, I'm not sure this is the best way, but whatever. There's a lot of wizard hats we're getting. Uh, I can't fit all these wizard hats. There's so many wizard hats. They sell really well, though. I'll stash that one over there. You can go... Ooh, that was a good spot right there. The hat will go here. The boots! What do we do with the boots? I can't fit the boots. Can I, can I wear these? I'm, I can, I can like, throw things on myself. I guess I can only throw the herbs on myself to heal myself, but I can't pick anything else up. Alright, we made our way through the dungeon. We still had 24 health. We're supposed to be keeping an eye on that. We'll pick up herbs along the way, and we can throw them on ourselves and, and give ourselves health. But that's that's how we found loot. So now we have all we have all an uh, arm full of, basically, wizard hats. And now we have unlocked a town. We can go purchase a storefront in town, which is what we're going to do. The day is January 2nd. And we have to, of course, pay off our, uh, our $100,000 loan in 16 weeks, or, or we die. So let's go to the store and buy ourselves a storefront right here amongst the trees. We're going to call this one Nook's Nook. There we go. First shop. How exciting. Right now, there's only one button at the bottom menu, so maybe click it and furnish something. All right, so here's my shop. There's me and my roof. I can't do anything about this one just yet. We'll eventually start growing some herbs and things. But uh, all we have is this. We're going to go ahead and throw some tables in. Let's throw in a big, regular table, like right there. And uh, I think maybe we're going to throw another one in. I mean, why do the little table when you can do the big table? And it fits. So let's do that. And let's throw some of this junk we found. We have five helmets, we got three herbs, and we got five hats that we found uh, during that last quest. So the hats sell the best, so let's, let's put those hats out here. And sell them and make some cash. We can adjust prices if we like. Uh, we can adjust the price. We can we can go up a little bit higher if we want. We can go a little lower. People might get a little cranky if we charge too much. We'll go up to like 40. Sure, that one. That's an exciting one. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, click the button. We're not we're not done. We are done. So this is a day. We have a selling day, and then if we want to wander into the forest to fight more things, that is a day as well. So we got to kind of manage our time here. And uh, this is where the game becomes a bit of a clicker game. We got folks walking by. We click them, and then they'll like maybe buy things. We can click on birds and they'll give us like nine gold, for instance. We can click them again and make them angry and they'll give us one gold that time. 
They're gonna come by, they're gonna say, hey, let's uh, take a look at these uh, mage hats. I like mage hats, and look, we just sold three of them. I'll click on you, I'll click on you, bird. 12 gold, hey, green bird, three gold. And yeah, we just sort of do this until we uh, run out of time or until we sell everything, which we have just done. We just sold everything. So we can go into our map now. And end of the end of the first day, we sold four mage hats for 40 gold apiece. We earned ourselves 160 bucks. We have a first payment coming up on the 7th for 100 gold. So that's okay. Now what we could do is we could do another day of selling things, or we could head back into the world map and go back into the dungeons trying to find more loot. I think we're going to go sell more things again because we have plenty of stuff to sell. So let's go ahead. I don't think I can furnish anything. Oh, I can. I have an armor table now. So this, if we put armor on the armor table, it sells better. Item table magically become more expensive when placed here. Uh, Miss ladies, items. That would be things like the herbs. I'm going to throw on this table like right there. I think that's going to be all right. And we need to throw some loot on here to sell. We're going to sell that last mage hat, which you can sell normally it sells for 38, but now it's selling for 45 because it's on the fancy table. And we can upgrade that table if we want uh, for 50 gold to sell for 4% more. And there we go. We're going to do it. Okay, go away. All right, we just upgraded a fixture. We could do it more if we wanted to. I think I'm going to... Uh, should I? Um, no. Well, hang on a minute. Let me sell these hats. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll sell all the hats. And, um, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and upgrade that again. Why not? Up into the 4%. There we go. It's going to cost us 125. We're almost there to go up to the full level. But now we're selling this hat for 48 gold. Can I go up to 50? Give me 50 gold. Yeah, there we go. 50 gold for that hat. All right. We are ready for our next day of customers. Now, we can come in here, we can call customers, like if we need folks to come in, we can call them, and they'll come flying out of the sky, and they'll come and buy things. We have some folks with stars coming by here, which the game will tell us in just a moment what the star man is. New shopkeeper on the block, he sold five items, we got 200 gold for selling things, excellent. Reliable blacksmith, a fine little shop you have here, we blacksmiths could use some good tools, so I'll make sure to check out your wares. You may want to try tougher dungeons soon, click on the train button below to increase your stat points. Blacksmith came by and told us about things. So we can come to the training shop, training grounds. And this is how we level up our characters. When we go into those dungeons, we can become uh, better. So, like, for instance, we can give ourselves a weapon. We don't have any weapons. We can give ourselves some armor. We can give ourselves that last helmet we have, which gives us a defense plus one. That way we're less likely, you know, to die. Uh, this is my custom bonus item. We throw things into there, and then we'll level up. And that will give us uh, random benefits by putting that in. More expensive things give us more uh cooler stuff, but we'll go ahead and level up. We can probably do this later on, but we'll do it right now since it's popping up on me. So we gained one strength. We gained a few hit points. Uh, we level up again? Sure. We'll go level up one more time. I should put another herb in there. But we got some more points, and uh, now we are level three, so no uh, no fried eggs will be killing us this time. Let me make sure we go back to poking things. And this is, uh, I, I'm not, I can't stand clicker games, but, but uh, eh, I get over it. We just sort of click, folks, and... Oh, that bird is angry. Like, stop poking me. Looking forward to buying more things from your shop. Here's a bit of gold to help you out. Thanks, Arcane Mage. Our friendship with the mages has increased. Not really sure what that does, what the uh, what the friendship with certain folks are. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, sorry, bird. Come on. Come and buy... Oh, my, my thingies are sold, so there's no point in staying here. Uh, we have cash. We could train up again if we wanted to. We can throw another herb in there. I don't have any weapons, but let's do uh, let's do one more. There we go. Now we got two strength for that one. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Okay. Now, let's go to the map. And we're going to head... Here's what we sold today. We've got 198 bucks. We uh, have our first payment coming up in a few days, but let's go to the world map and head over to the forest again and finish this thing up. We have an egg we're going to go slaughter. Throw in our hats. Hats sell really well, so we want to make sure we grab those. We never grabbed any boots last time, did we? Uh, you can go there. Wizard hat. I don't know where to put you. Like that, maybe. You go there. I need a long... Ah! Too slow! Uh, here, have... Oh, you don't even need any health. Uh, like that. Take the helm. The boots will go like that. And that's all we're going to get. We're going to miss out on that thing. And we got two hats from our final reward. 
Okay, unlock the desert area. Excellent. Uh, we can go into there, or we can sell the stuff we have. Let's just go straight to the desert. We can do it. In this dry desert area, some have claimed persistent quicksand happenings. Not sure if it's true, but if your items may sink to the ground, if the rumors are believed, or to be believed. So when we find something, you'll see what this is going to do to us. We'll smack the snake around, and we're going to take our hat, put it in here, it falls to the ground. That's what, uh, that's what that means. Found some more herbs, and we're going to keep an eye on our health here. Because I don't want to die. That would be unfortunate. You go... I don't know. Go, um... There. We want the Robin Hood hat. For sure. Uh, we also want the dagger. Ooh, lots of daggers. Okay, dagger go there. Like that. Um, you go there. Uh, dagger. Okay, there we go. Um, that one. And we got some wizard hats, some Robin Hood, Robin Hood hats, and a cutting knife. Alright, we beat the desert area. Archers will now visit our shop. Excellent. And back to the nook to uh, do some uh, furnishing, I suppose. We got... Well, we don't really have any gold, do we? We also can do some decorations now. We can put in a swaying plant, which will slightly make customers buy things they don't need. And a calling window will make some uh, customers... We can call them in faster. Which I don't really care about. No special things just yet. Um, let's go ahead and put some things on here. This is an armor place, so we want to make sure we have to armor things on the armor rack. So that would be like an archer hat. And we're going to throw in... I guess we'll do archer hats. We'll do a cutting knife there. 50 gold uh, is not too shabby. Uh, no, I don't want to upgrade that table. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Okay. Sometimes you can see our tables starting to get a little bit dirty. You can see like there's uh, there's... There's some dirt on there. And I think the game will tell me in just a moment to clean things up. If it hasn't already and I just skip past it. I guess, yeah, it hasn't just yet. It'll tell me, uh, tell me it's time to see someone else in the business. Here's a present. A new bag just for you. Try changing your bag in the dungeon selection screen. You never know what kinds of perks each might have. We now have a rhombus bag. Which is basically the shape of our, uh, our loot grabber. Has, uh, has now changed. And we'll see that in just a moment. We're gone. Even even the tumbleweeds give us money. Sold ten items. You can now expand your shop from the end of the day menu. Excellent. Oh no, as your tables are getting dirty, click a few times on the fixture to clean it. You can also polish from the action menu. Yeah, we want to do that because that is actually going to raise the price of things. So we're going to throw it on these daggers here so they're all nice and sparkly. I'm looking forward to buying some things from your shop. Here's a bit of gold to hop out. Thanks, strong warrior. He gave me 200 gold. What a swell guy. Um, did I click everyone here? Click on you, and you, you're very quick. Click on the tumbleweeds. We have two daggers left that are selling for, I'm not sure how much, actually. No birds today. Are we going to sell those? Sell those daggers. We can call someone in here. Yeah, buy something. Uh, come buy something. Yeah, you should. There we go. One more. We're almost out of, oh, no, we didn't actually sell it. Oh, did we get it? We made a payment of 100 gold in time for the deadline. Okay, that's what happened. We just sold our uh, our end of the week thing, and we, we sold our 100 gold. And we we made 287 bucks today. Not too bad. And uh, we only owe $99,000 now. Let's spend. Oh, we can't spend. We're, we're $10 short. We have enough stuff. Let's, uh, let's do another day to make some cash. We did sell that last thing just at the last moment. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and put on a archer hat here. Can I put anything else here in the fixtures? No, another armor table I could do. Um, yeah, why not? Put that there. You're not upgraded, but you're you're fine. Put a cutting knife in there. I want to make sure I'm carrying a cutting knife myself. What does that give me? Uh, it didn't, didn't tell me. Uh, we could level ourselves up real quick. Uh, 500 gold, never mind. We can't level ourselves up real quick. Uh, we want... Wizard hat... And, uh, Archer Hat. Okay. Let's, uh... Actually, I'm gonna remove that herb. Put something better in here. Like an Archer Hat. Okay. Let's do one more day of selling. That should give us lots of cash. We can head out to the desert. To finish that up, we have a new Rhombus bag that we can use to grab things. Hopefully make ourselves find some... Ooh, excuse me. I think he just gave me things. I think if you click them, and sometimes they'll like just throw items at you. I think that's what happened. We sold 15 things. We have new fixtures now available. Okay. 
Yes, buy things. Yes, buy my hat. There you go. We have a, uh, some sort of sparkle bonus here. Uh, I didn't do polish my items. Forgot to polish. There we go. Buyer's remorse, eh? Right, click on the bird again. Click on you. And we got someone coming here to tell me some things. I've decided to set up shop here. Click on the merchant button below to check out my stuff. Here's an early little customer present just for uh, you. Also, you might notice some new options on the dungeon selection screen. To unlock the uh, Merchant Traveler's Shop. Reward, a muffin power-up. Uh, what does this do? I can buy things from you. Red shingles, peach tiles, dark gray tiles, mini heart bag. Alright, that's cool. Uh, how about you guys buy my things, please? Time for an upgrade, eh? Yeah, maybe it is. We'll see, uh, as soon as we're done here... There we go. Yes. Thank you. Uh, there we go. We sold 216 worth. We now have 544. We can expand our shop, which we're going to do. Takes us a day to make that thing. But we now have a, a bigger shop, which we'll show off here in a moment. But first, we're going to go back to the desert. And we're going to switch to that rhombus bag. Looks like that. This blue square in the middle is a multiply times two square. So whatever is in that square is worth twice as much money. So, let's... Uh, is it actually, I'm not sure if it's actually worth twice as much money, or you get two things, actually, now that I say that. Um, active buff. Uh, oh, here's a muffin power-up. Gives extra flat damage. Yeah, sure, I'll take one of those. Alright, let's go in here. Same thing, killing snakes, and whatever else. Putting hats in here. Uh, these are worth some money, so I'm going to throw that on there. We'll double that. Uh, I want you over there. Um, I want, yeah, that knife there. That's probably not a good idea. Like that. Ooh, I can fit you right in there. Like that. And that's about all I can do. If we get rid of one of these... Here, kill yourself. Uh, oh, they fall down. Uh, I want this instead. Yeah, there we go. We got it. Okay. What do we get? Ooh, lots of stuff. Okay. Unlock the plains area. There we go. We have a new area to go to. This is the Plains Starter Dungeon. I'm not sure what this one does. Um, yeah, we'll go there. Active buff. I'll take my muffin and start it up. These plains have such lush vegetation. On the downside, mist can occasionally get in the way and instruct your view of dropped items. Ooh, I haven't actually been to this one yet. This is exciting. We're killing rabbits now. Ooh, a book. Oh, we don't know what this is. I'm guessing it's a helmet, though. Come here. Um, boots, looks like. We got... Herbs. The helm. Um, I want this book thing. Helm can go there. I'll throw you on my guy. Um, give me this. I have a feeling these are worth some money because they're new. So uh, let's do some of that. I could replace that with this. Ah, it's okay. Ooh, lots of stuff. Ooh, we have bags. What are bags? Golden pouches. Ooh, simple tomes. Okay, Beats Plains area. Clerics will now visit our shop. Let's head back and sell some things and make some cash here. We have to get... We have three days to make 250 bucks. That should be easy. We're going to go ahead and furnish. We can put in a new armor table. We could do decorations to make ourselves... Oh, we can't. We don't have any money. Never mind. Never mind. Let's just load up some things here. The book is worth 65 gold. Ooh, excellent. 65, Yes. Uh, on here, we're going to put some hats, I guess. 59 for the gold coins. Uh, no, not the buffin. I want to put the hat on there. I'm going to remove this hat and put um, another tome. And a gold pouch. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Clean up our table's all nice. We're going to throw in some... We're going to polish these things. We want nice and shiny books. Oh, there we go. we got clerics visiting us now. So the clerics should come and they want to buy my books, I bet. Depending on what customers you get, we'll, de we'll decide, you know, what uh, what kind of items they buy. So because we have a cleric here, he's going to be buying the, my book. Excellent. Shine bonus, plus 19, plus 20. There we go. Now we're making some cash. The, um, whatever these, uh, these bush things are, uh, happy. New bags can now be bought. Hmm. 
Okay, someone else is going to come tell us some sort of tip. Hey, give me a tip. Where's my tip? Uh, must resist sale. No, you don't. Buy those hats. I need some hunters to come by. Are you a hunter? I'm not sure which ones are the hunters. We didn't sell those hats. That's kind of annoying. Maybe I should lower the price on them. Uh, so we've got 324. Still, that's not too bad. We can span our shop when we get a grand. Or we can start our next day, which we're going to do, because we're going to build in some more um, shelves in here. We Oh, or decorations. Increases prices of nearby armor pieces in the slimming mirror. Uh, I'm, just, I'm five bucks short. The swaying plant makes customers buy things they don't need. Increases chance by 10%. Barrel of swords. Decor of swords in a barrel. Increase nearby weapons prices. Calling Windows calls in folks into here. I don't really care about that, but I will buy a swaying plant and throw it up here by me. Um, and I think I'm going to buy another table. Should I buy one of these? Miscellaneous item prices. I think of things like herbs. I think that's what that is. We could go in here. Miscellaneous. Um, oh, the gold pouches would work for that. Oh, okay. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's throw in an item table. Oh, I don't need money. I wish I had money. I could do a regular table just to sell one more thing. Okay. Okay, there we go. Hopefully we can sell some hats today. Uh, I do want to sell some gold pouches, however. And some books. We'll have a little bit of variety for everyone. Knife. Um, the boots aren't really worth anything. And another gold pouch. Okay. I could not train myself, because I don't have enough money. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, we're good. Okay, let's make some cash. And call in the... Uh, are you guys clerics? Is that what you are? Come and uh, come buy some things, please. I could use some cash. My tw 250 gold is nearly due. I don't want to die. I don't take my money, you bird. Oh, I didn't. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Polish. Yes. Everyone wants shiny gold, right? So 25 items. Excellent. There we go. It's 10 gold. Pick on the birds. 13, 7, 6. Oh, minus 1. And we have one hat left. I'm going to get rid of these hats. These dang hats aren't worth it. Did you know you can combine some ingredients with equipment you find on your adventures? You can buy recipes from the merchant when she has them in stock or even find them around the world. Here's a simple one I know of. Click on the craft button in the bottom menu and try your hand at crafting. We can make wool boots. Oh. Now there we go. We're selling the hat. Excellent. All right. We are done. All right. We got 481. I think we're going to go to the world map. And see what... I can't do this right now because we have a payment coming up. But let's go to the world map and check out the planes. And kill some more bunnies. That... We could switch this out with something cooler. They're all plus two... Oh, plus two defense with the uh, the archer hat. Yes. Any better weapons? No, just the one. Uh, okay. Let's go uh, let's kill some pink bunnies this time. And I want you to go... Right, right. This is the place you can't really see things. You are going to go right in there. Um, gold, you go there. Herbs. Uh, here you go, buddy. That'll fit perfectly there. Uh, take a hat. Another book will go there. And that's all we can carry. We can maybe move some boots around. Oh, yeah, I'm going to. I want the gold. There you go. Hey, we need something good here. Oh, yes, more gold. Excellent. We have tons of stuff now. We unlocked the mountain area. We made a payment of 250 gold up there. We can go check that out, or we can go back to our shop, or we can call it a day here. I think we have explored the game. Well, it's sort of the beginnings of the game, anyways. Uh, we haven't set up any crafting, but uh, that's fine. So, thanks again for watching. We have weapon tables now. Shiny table increases the patch of any item. Such magic. I want to um, furnish. I want to move a fixture. How do I remove this? Like sell. Okay. Now, 
Can I put it in the shiny table? 300? Yes, I can. There we go. All right, shiny table. We could level this thing up if we want. If we had money, we could do that. But we're going to throw some gold coins. So 59, what do you are you now? Ooh, 62. All right. Yeah, throw that in. 65 versus 68. All right. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Again, this is Pixel Shopkeeper. It is available on Steam. I'll put a link in the description, of course. But uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.